the strings louder. Hey, what's up, guys? My name is Switcher T Scored, and today I'm bringing you guys a 40 to 6 TDM gameplay. And uh, I was using the K bar and playing on the map Throwback here. Hopefully, you guys will enjoy this one. I played uh, mostly Domination in the beta. I would say that's probably the game mode I had the most playtime on. But uh, I also wanted to play some TDM as well uh, because usually in Call of Duty, TDM is like where the bad players are. Uh, it's just kind of where the more like casual noobs are and people that aren't really as skilled at the game. Domination's more for like you know people in parties and people that. Try Try hard a lot of the game and stuff. More like high level player, uh, more like high level players and stuff. So I figured in TDM I could maybe uh, you know have a lot of fun on this game and just kind of play like some worse enemies and stuff. And I was actually able to get some pretty good TDM gameplays in the beta. I got a 41 kill TDM, uh, but I, I died like 13 times I think. So that scoreline wasn't really all that good. I might just upload like part of that gameplay. And then I also got a 51 kill TDM uh, during the beta. I forgot to uh, record it. So the next time I go back for college, I'm going to have to record it, and then you guys will see it uh, in a few weeks, I think. But a 51 kill TDM in the beta, uh, TDM goes to 100 kills now, so it's not really as impressive. But I got 51 out of my team's 100 kills uh, in a beta TDM match. I thought that was insane. I wish I could upload that for you guys today, but uh, uh, sadly, you guys are going to have to see this 40 to 6 TDM here. And I still thought 40 to 6 was pretty good. Uh, this is actually when I was a really low level in the beta as well. I didn't really, uh, you know, even have like my own class setups and stuff. I was just running like the default kill streaks. I had like UAV, counter UAV, and like the warden, I think. So uh, I really didn't even care about my streaks in this game. I was just trying to kind of like have fun, uh, you know, level up my guns and just kind of learn the maps and stuff. But I managed to get 40 kills here in this TDM, and I actually only died six times as well. So I figured overall, I thought it was a pretty nice TDM gameplay. If this was like, you know, Black Ops 3 or like MW3, uh, a 40 to 6 TDM isn't really as good of a scoreline as I would usually upload. You know, for my standards that I hold for myself, uh, a 40 to 6 TDM in the games that I feel like I'm really good at, like, you know, Black Ops 2, uh, MW3, Black Ops 3, like some of those games, I, ha I hold myself to really high standards for, like, gameplays. So a 40 to 6 TDM just really doesn't cut it for me. But in this game, uh, because it was from the beta and because this is the brand new game, I honestly thought a 40 to 6 TDM gameplay was pretty good and I thought it was actually something worth uploading so I hope you guys do enjoy this one here today and uh, just know I know this is not like the best gameplay that you guys will see and usually I don't upload like you know gameplays like this where I die a few times and I usually don't upload TDM all that much anyways but you know 40 to 6 TDM I also just want to upload a lot of gameplays for you guys from the beta uh, because you know I didn't really have that much content from the beta I just want to upload for you guys like what I do have and I really want to upload a lot of uh, Infinite Warfare content for you guys. So, uh, one thing I want to mention, you guys, is in this gameplay here, uh, my combat rig weapon was the Claw and uh, the C L A W. I don't really know what it stands for. I think it stands for you know something in this game. I'm not sure, but uh, the Claw is really good. I think the Equalizer is by far the best uh, combat rig weapon in the game. I honestly feel like they might nerf the Equalizer because I got like nine man feeds uh, with the Equalizer, and I got like a lot of quad feeds. It was really easy to use, you had a lot of ammo, and it was just uh, probably the best uh, combat rig weapon in the game. But this one here, the Claw, uh, you guys saw back there, I used it and got a few kills, and I think I used it again uh, in this same gameplay, but uh, there was a few times, you guys, with the Claw, literally my second or third match on Infinite Warfare, I got a quad feed with the Claw, and sadly it didn't save for some reason. I really wanted to upload that for you guys, uh, but the Claw is really good as well. It's kind of like a full auto. It kind of looks like a crossbow, I guess, but it's kind of like a full auto machine pistol, like rapid firing weapon. And uh, you guys saw me use it at the beginning. I got, I got like three or four kills with it. Uh, my only complaint about the claw is there's not really that much ammo. And it kills people a little bit slower than the equalizer. And you have less ammo. So, you know, the balancing there isn't really that good. I feel like the claw should maybe be a little bit better. Or maybe they should make the equalizer a little bit worse. They kind of need to balance those a bit. But the claw is pretty good overall. I, like I said, I got a quad feed with it in like my second match of the game. I honestly had no idea what the maps even were like. I had no idea the layout of the map and I got a quad feed with the combat rig weapon, the claw. So, you know, that just shows how good some of these combat rig weapons are. And one thing I want to ask you guys is, do you guys like this camo here in this game? Uh, this neon tiger camo? 
I think it's like one of the base uh, kind of like supply drop camos in the game. You also get it from like leveling up, I think. But no, I think it's pretty cool. I'll make a separate video about the camos in this game. I think there are some really, really cool camos uh, in Infinite Warfare. They're kind of like doing the same thing as Black Ops 3. I feel like Black Ops 3 had really, really good camos as well. And I think in this game so far from the camos we saw in the beta, I think there were some really good camouflages. And I, I'm, I guarantee you guys uh, the camos in the beta was not all the camos in the game so you know this camo here you guys neon tiger it, it's kind of like a red tiger and blue tiger like they had in all the older uh, modern warfare 2 and modern warfare games and stuff but you know this one here neon tiger it's kind of like yellow and green it reminds me of like a neon crayon or something i think it looks pretty cool overall though and uh, i think i'm going to be running some different camos but i do like this one and uh, here's the claw again you guys it's really easy to use and if you get into like good situations then there's like three enemies all standing together or they're like all with their backs turned to you you can get a lot of kills with the claw uh, the only thing is just it doesn't have that much ammo so hopefully you guys enjoyed this 40 to 6 tdm here with the k-bar and uh, by the way you guys the k-bar here the weapon i had in this game i think it's one of my like top three favorite guns in infinite warfare it's an assault rifle with like really high damage and uh, i think it shoots pretty fast as well it's a really good reliable assault rifle in this game and uh, i really really love the weapon so hopefully you guys enjoy this 40 to 6 tdm gameplay and i will see you guys in my next video peace out you guys